Wigan Watch. Wigan Watch. Hello, welcome to Wigan Watch. Now, yesterday we had a look at um, the suffocation that seems to be going on for the market during the construction of the, well, the redevelopment. Uh, today, I've had a look at the roads around Wigan and see what's going on there. For example, where do you go if you want to go bowling? How do you get to the bowling alley that's currently there? So this is uh, edited, set off at the BP garage and uh, I'm going to record Bullstock Lane all the way but I just edit out the boring bits which is the majority of it. So um, this used to be a roundabout and was converted into traffic lights a few years ago uh, to ease traffic congestion. I'm not overly convinced that it's actually worked that well. Um, temporary traffic lights on the roundabout would have probably sufficed and needed less work, less um, servicing, that kind of thing. Anyway, they don't want you to go down Poolstock Lane. So what we've got is we've got a set of traffic lights that deliberately don't let you go down Poolstock Lane by making cars try and go down uh, towards Asda and therefore the new road to nowhere that no one really goes on. See now the filter's gone for both of us, but will we get through? That is the question. Yeah, we get through just though, only just. So limiting the number of cars coming down Pillstock Lane. You'll also notice as well, they've turned Pillstock Lane into a 20 mile an hour zone. on it at the minute. You can see all the vehicles going across that bridge. It's, it's mad how busy that bridge is. Right, so we're off again. bridge of the road to nowhere. Used more by joggers than cars. And this is where it gets complicated. Because you can see the distance of the church behind the houses. And at the church is a roundabout. However, if you're not overly familiar with the uh, the road or anything, you will see that what the council have done is they've made it into a left bend. So you have to indicate and turn right to go on towards Wigan. Otherwise you end up going down here. And you go down here and it takes you down towards Eckersley Mill, which you can see in the distance on the left. Recently been bought and hopefully will be redeveloped. And then it takes you on this really bendy, windy road. So go all the way down here. French Field Mill on the right. And just the mill complex on the left. You get brought out of Wigan Pier, but at Wigan Pier, you have to turn left. You cannot turn right, so it's sending you away from the town centre. And 
if you're not overly familiar, you have to somehow get across here. To then turn right here. To go around here. I hope you're following this. Seven Stars Bridge. That's Wigan Pier. If you wanted to go to the bowling alley, you used to be able to turn left here at the bathroom tile showroom place. As you can see, they built the curb up completely, so you can no longer turn there. So you now have to turn left here, and then go around the back way, if you can be bothered. Everyone's been super nice letting everyone out, but we might not get through now. You see how narrow it is here? So, we're finally at Wigan Town Centre. Although the road markings are all out of kilter. And you go left there, up into, um, well, into the town. But, if you come from the road from nowhere, you would end up here, going under the railway bridge, and again, they've completely changed the layout of the road. So if you're wanting to go to Manchester or Bolton or whatever and turn left here, you have to be in now this lane. See the arrows? The second lane is straight on only. Ahead only, it says on the road there. Because they have narrowed this road down around the corner. They've put a big lump on this corner here, so only one row of cars can go around at a time. And then it opens up to two lanes again. Makes no sense whatsoever. So now, in rush hour, when cars are queuing to go around this way, the queues go all the way back onto the railway bridge, all the way around, probably, to um, Wigan Pier. So that's not really helping congestion, is it? In the distance you'll see the police station hotel, Premier Inn. We're now heading back towards uh, Wigan Pier. Because we want to go bowling um, with the family. We're coming from this side of town. So, so far so good. All you need to do is, uh, as normal, go through the lights. That's the COVID testing station. Underneath the railway bridge. Right, so we're heading towards Wigan Pier and we want to go bowling. Kids are excited. Yeah, right, kids, we're nearly there. I was saying, Martin. That's the old church. Obviously we can't turn right there. We used to be able to turn right here to go onto Mario Lane, but that's gone. There's no option now to turn right onto Mario Lane. 
So sorry kids, we can't get there. We have to go all the way down here now. So again, you come down here, that's Wigan Pier. Again, we have to cut through this bit, country road. It's all meant to be uh, getting finished off soon. It doesn't look like there's anyone actually working on it today or any time recently. So now we can't turn left here again because we want to go bowling. Now it's not happening. You can see the road markings then where we uh, used to be able to go. So now we're gonna turn left here. And this is now as tight as a Nats passage. Come down here. You'll get taken out by a lorry. Yeah, this isn't at all difficult, is it? So the garages. Right now, I think oh, it might be that one actually. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Genuinely, I don't really know. Right, so we're going to turn left here. Nothing coming, so that's alright. So it's a dead end, we know it's a dead end. the middle of that road come into here and there we are we're at the bowling kids yay there we go oh it's shut but it will be because it's, it's I'm doing this not to show you it's open or anything I'm doing this to show you how bizarre the road system is now in Wigan Oh, it is actually open. Yeah, the doors are open over there. So, uh, there you go then. Wigan Town Planning, Wigan Roads. They're great, user-friendly, everything else. Yeah, there's more to come. Tomorrow's video is about entertainment centres. Till then, bye.